The recent reforms in Burma have emboldened a new generation of young artists to comment on social issues through one age-old form of self-expression, graffiti. And while the walls and shop fronts of Rangoon provide a vast canvas for their work, not every surface is considered fair game. Over the past year, the number of street artists in Rangoon has doubled to around 50. They find each other through the internet or on the streets after dark, armed with paint cans. Their works touch on a range of issues and were almost unthinkable before Burma's recent wave of reforms. This image, protesting against media censorship, was first painted by artist Aung last year and has since been copied across the city. <laughs> Most people don't know much about this art, and the owners of the places where we create graffiti art are very sensitive about this. So far, there hasn't been serious punishment, like arrests, but some artists have had to sign papers saying they won't do this again. Others have used art to express outrage at chronic power shortages back in May. We didn't do it on the people's behalf, but because we ourselves were affected by the lack of electricity. We try to show this on the streets, that feeling, by creating the graffiti on the streets, asking for electricity. And while ordinary residents may find it hard to distinguish between graffiti and vandalism, among the artists, there's a sort of unwritten code of conduct. We may be regarded as destroyers, but we don't create art on schools, hospitals, churches or other religious buildings. We don't destroy these places, we destroy places we don't like, like the places that were taken by force. Many Rangoon artists are now experimenting with stencils, a form made popular by British activist Banksy. Jessica Longbottom, ABC News.